Are you gonna cry? I love that falsetto from Adam Levine. I love that I you reached that high note, Ryan. See, stop. You're making our couple hot and bothered. Exactly my intent. Mm -hmm. Do you oh, believe? Look at what's happening over here. Do you believe that love <laughs> at first sight? Well, you will after you hear this story. Joining us now are Kathleen and Barry Gay from Fayetteville, Georgia. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us everything. I believe in love at first sight. Share your love story with us, please. Okay, I was a flight attendant for US Airways. I was working a flight with my good friend, Angela, who was working the flight from Philly to Boston. I was standing at the door. Barry came upstairs to get the luggage. He worked part-time on the ramp. When he came through the door, he looked at me. I looked at him and he smiled and God said, that is your husband. <laughs> I said, I said, Angela, I, my husband's on the jetway. She leaned back and said, yeah, 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 give me a rum and coke. Because we were working first class. By the time I went to close the overheads and come back up to the front, she had closed the door. I freaked out. I went up to the cockpit to give the count. And I said, we got to go up to the, we got to go back. My husband's on the jetway. They start laughing. And they're like, we got an hour 30 to get to Boston. So I'm like, fine. The next day, we come back to gate C21 in Philly. I push these people off the plane. I said, I got I to gotta find my husband. got to find my husband. So I waited for the flight to reboard again. I asked the guy, um, one of the rampers, I described Barry. Next thing I know, I hear them running up the jetway stairs. And... He comes to the door. He said, I was praying it was you. I said, hot damn, walk and talk, brother. We got to make my dead hit. So the next day, Wednesday, he flies to Pittsburgh. We have lunch. We have been together ever since. Oh, we got married. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, we've been married 23 years. We have three sons. He has a son previously, Christopher, who's an architect, studying to be an architect in Philly. Barrington is 22. He's in college. At Gordon, and he works for American Eagle. Remington is 18. He goes to Fayette County High School. He's a senior this year, and he's a uh, varsity baseball player. So we are blessed. We need to make a movie. All over. When this is all over, you we must come need here. to double date with Mark and me and you two. We need to go on a double <clears> date. <throat> this is <throat> and Ryan and Ryan. Yes. And it, you know we. Delta, we we can fly up there. So you, well, y'all kind of hot, but let we, we'll meet you somewhere. We'll meet you somewhere. <laughs> Kathleen, did you say Barry was a part-time radio host? No, uh, he at the time that I met him, he worked part-time on the ramp. We both work for US Air, but right now he works for Delta. He's been at Delta for 20 years. Okay, I thought so we're still on the radio. radio. I love well, this. This story is the greatest so story ever. We're going to make a movie of it ever. as well. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on. We look forward to meeting you. All right? Yes. Appreciate you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Wait, you're going to tell them the good news? Oh, I have great news for you. When you and Kelly and Mark go out together while I'm at home babysitting the kids. No, this is just for them. You're going to get $500 to spend on your date for Valentine's Day. <laughs> We're sending it to you for this Valentine's Day, They're so enjoy, make okay? They're going to another baby right here during commercial break. <laughs> You're going to see. 500 bucks coming at you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, that's the greatest story. Our love box, the inbox after this. I love How them How sweet is so that? Much.